Hi, I'm Ryan Collins, Director of Technology for Public K-12 School District during the day and a huge geek at night. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a timer to your Google Slides presentations and also show you how you can present your Google Slides in a manner that works better for you and for your students. A good place to add a timer to a slide is when you're using it for an entrance or exit ticket. I have an exit ticket up here and we're going to add a timer to that slide. So the timers come from YouTube. I can go up to insert, video, and I only want to give them three minutes on this. Type three minute timer. You'll get a bunch of examples. Now, some of these you have to look. Three minute timer bomb with giant bomb explosion. That's probably not a video you want to play at school. But a lot of these are just generic enough that you can use it. There's some kids ones here. There's another bomb one. Be sure you watch it all the way in to make sure. There's a barking one. We're just going to pick this one because it's electric. And I can place this in the bottom corner of my screen. On the right side here, auto play run presenting. I usually have that turned off because I like to have the control when the video starts playing, but you can turn that on if you would like. Normally you would go to present and it will show your slide. And then when you get to the slide, you can hit play. It starts playing. If you don't like the song, And as soon as it's done, then you know you can move on. The timers are great for also when you want to do group work and you want to have the class discuss for 10 minutes, you can throw a 10 minute timer on there and it makes it really nice for them to work. Sometimes though, when you use the present, this is your tip for the day on Google Sites. When you use the present, it takes over your whole screen. You can't do much else. And especially if you've started the timer, you can't go to another screen because it's going to stop your timer. What I have come to start doing is instead of just clicking the present button, I would say presenter view. Presenter view throws up these notes and you can just close those. But now the presentation is in the window so I can start the timer. And while it's timing, in case I need to bring something else up, I can switch to another tab bring something else and the timer is still counting down in the first slide. So it makes it a lot nicer when you are working that you don't have to worry about ruining your timer and you can bring up another tab if you need to really easily. And that's just instead of hitting present, do presenter view. And that comes in really handy when you're using Google Meet like for virtual learning because you can just share this tab and you can still do other things in other tabs and the students will not see it because you're only sharing this tab. Along with the autoplay, you can also mute the audio right away. So if it does have a song that you wanna play, just hit that mute audio and you don't even have to worry about turning it down once the movie's done. And that's it for today. Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and head on over to educate.me and sign up for my email listserv. Stay classy.